So I got this motor here that was overloading. It turned out that the brake has failed, and when the brake has failed, it does not release even though it had power applied to it, which then causes the motor to bind. It can't then turn, and which causes it to overload. And I don't think the motor itself is bad. It's just that the brake failed on it. So I do have a extra brake here. I'm going to replace the brake and then run it up and see if it still works or not. So here's the brake. And before I disassemble and install the brake, I'm just going to mag out the motor insulation and make sure that the motor itself is still good. And here I'm magging the phases to the motor frame and I have a good reading. I also checked the phases to each other and they were all good. I did have a low resistance reading and there was no open in the windings. So then here I'm going to apply direct 24 volts to the brake. So when I apply direct power to it, the brake should have released. But as you can see here, I cannot turn this shaft at all. It's still locked in tight, which tells me that the brake has failed and it is not releasing. So then I'm going to pull apart the back end here and expose the brakes. And here is the brake. I do have the old brake off and I'm going to put in the new brake right onto the rotor. And with the new brake on, I'm reapplying 24 volts directly to the brake. And as you can see now, the brake is releasing. So I can turn and spin the rotor shaft by hand. So this brake is good to go. And then I also ran power right to the motor and I'm going to test the motor. And with power applied to the motor, you can see that it is turning and spinning freely. It is not binding and it's rotating like it should. So if you're ever troubleshooting a motor for overloading and it comes with the brake, make sure that the brake is releasing before you condemn the motor. And I did also check the phases for amp draw and all of them drew roughly within the same amount of 0.4 amps. And the rated amp is 0.45 so it's pretty within spec. I say this motor is still good to go. So then I'm going to put the housing back onto the end of this motor and put it back on the shelf and use as an extra spare part. Until next time, deuces.